Well, it's business as usual as the season winds down for the number 13 Arizona softball team, but the players and coaching staff can't shake the feeling that this summer will be different, considering an Olympic softball team will not be competing in London. After the Beijing Olympics in 2008, the International Olympic Committee voted on a decision that would remove softball and baseball and replace them with rugby and golf, leaving thousands of prospective Olympians across the United States and the world without their shot at glory. There's so many little girls that, you know, on tour we saw coming to our tour stops and our games and, you know, just talking about, you know, their hopes and their dreams of, you know, achieving that someday. So to know that, you know, there's so many little girls in the world that will never get the chance to, you know, wear USA across their chest and stand on, you know, a medal podium is really pretty disappointing. Wildcat freshman catcher Chelsea Goodacre competed for the U.S. junior team with hopes of one day playing in the Olympics, but she will now have to put that dream on hold. It's been my dream ever since I started playing softball. Always dreamed of playing for the USA, winning a gold, a gold medal, um, being like Jen Finch. Just, I think that's everyone's dream when we first start playing. As a former head coach at Cell Point High School in Tucson, Arizona assistant Stacy Iveson could see at the high school level what Olympic softball was doing for the game. I don't think it's a coincidence that you saw such a rise in softball and the popularity of softball and the level of play in softball in conjunction with softball being part of the Olympics. Arizona head coach Mike Candrea is also the former U.S. national coach. Candrea and his squad won a gold medal in Athens and a silver medal in Beijing. For him, there's not much that compares to competing in the Olympics. Representing the United States is um, probably the highest honor that you can ever have, and, and to have that on your chest and go out and play. Um, I think the one thing I always think about is, um, you know, the, the raising of the flag at the end of the uh, medal ceremony, and I don't think you're ever prouder to be an American than when something like that occurs and you see the American flag a little higher than the other countries. Softball and baseball are now out of the Olympics through 2016, but Candrea said that the International Softball and Baseball Federations were preparing a joint proposal to bring back the sports in 2020. That decision to revive the sports will be made by the IOC in September of 2013. For the Arizona Sonora News Service, I'm Dan Kohler.